Budapest is a beautiful city with a rich history. Separated by Danube River, Buda and Pest form the two halves of the capital. If we cross the river and move to Buda, we will find some very important historical sites. One of them that was recently closed was the Museum of Military History, located in some army barracks from 1830s. Welcome to Spy Spots. Right outside of this historical site, you'll find this, the statue of St. John Capistra, known with a nickname the Soldier Saint because in 1456, at the age of 70, he led the crusade against the invading Ottoman Empire at the siege of Belgrade with the Hungarian military commander John Hunyadi. And this massive building that belongs to the Hungarian Ministry of Defense, until May 2023, used to be the home of Hungary's Museum of Military History, which included an incredible collection of artifacts, including an exceptionally rare Enigma H29 cipher machine. Actually, there was also a spy museum hosted at the same area until a few years ago that included espionage-related artifacts, such as spy radios, covert listening devices and so on, on loan from the Museum of Military History as well as from private collections. However, this museum is also no longer open. There are some good news though. Starting from August 2023, the Museum of Military History of Hungary will reopen from a new location. The St. Stephen Museum and Monastery in Sikersverhirvar, Fair County. This is outside of Budapest, approximately 65 kilometers, and until 1527, all coronation ceremonies of all Hungarian kings used to take place there. All of that was done for a reason. 2023 marks the 175th anniversary since the formation of the Hungarian Defense Forces. So, although we were unable to visit and film the spy artifacts at the old Museum of Military History due to the above, the Ministry of Defense also established a temporary exhibition at the Balna Shopping and Cultural Center in Budapest, which we managed to visit while it was still under construction. The exhibit includes simulators, interactive demonstrations, personnel from the armed forces to answer any questions, historical displays, weapons, as well as a couple of artifacts related to our content. Like this brand new Maultec ISR unmanned aerial platform, those BHC sensors and more. Like this Nemere R01 UAV developed by the Hungarian Ministry of Defense. So if you happen to be somewhere near Budapest, maybe the temporary exhibition or the new museum would be interesting to you since they provide a glimpse into some past and present military intelligence artifacts. Remember though, all militaries are regularly displaying some of their capabilities as a deterrence measure. However, especially when it comes to intelligence gathering capabilities, what is displayed is only the tip of the iceberg, and it's why nothing is as it seems. <laughs>